of 18 Mercedes AMG G63 Drivers Notes Review. The 2018 Mercedes AMG G63 will soon be supplanted by a vehicle that is better in each and every quantifiable way. You need to recollect that the 2018 model has attaches returning to the late 1970s, when it began life as a military vehicle. The present model may wear splendid paint, chrome and huge amounts of cowhide, yet it's still tremendously dated. Notwithstanding consistent updates, the G-Class never observed a genuine upgrade until this year. Our analyzer is an AMG G63, the most prominent variation in the United States. As indicated by Mercedes, this is the main vehicle in its lineup where the AMG variation beats the standard model. It's fueled by a 563 5.5 liter V8 and packs a four-wheel drive framework with three locking differentials. Like the Range Rover, it has a huge amount of potential that no proprietor will each utilization. This illustration has a solitary AMG Performance Studio package. It incorporates the solar beam yellow paint, carbon fiber trim, dark accents on the outside, yellow sewing inside and red brake calipers. Relay editor Reese count, the active G-Wagon is an impartially awful vehicle. It's hardened, cramped and handles like a messy alcoholic on stilts. Each information, put something aside for the brakes, is postponed marginally. It's not bundled extremely well, and the main eminent thing about the payload territory is the moderately low liftover. Factor in the G63's cost, and things look exponentially more terrible. For what reason would you ever burn through $163,795 on a SUV that is, truth be told, appalling? Since it's so damn cool. In case you're judging the G-Wagon on a steam per dollar, you're feeling the loss of the whole point. This is a materialistic trifle. It's a symbol. It's unadulterated, whole extravagance pressed inside a moving steel box. Individuals who possess a G-Wagon couldn't care less at all the amount of expenses or how much in steam they're getting for their cash. You should consider Jeff to be their customized tags. Solace, common sense, efficiency and some other target estimations don't make a difference one particle to these customers. Why purchase a Rolex Submariner when a Timex works fine and dandy? Since fine and dandy doesn't make a difference. The G63 overflows cool. I cherish this thing more than words can completely express. I adore the square-shaped styling and the chrome brush watch and the upsettingly yellow paint. I cherish the twin turbo V8 and the bark and growl that originate from the sides leave the pleat. I adore the weight and weight to each and every development, particularly the entryways. The entire thing feels like it was processed from one strong bit of steel. The snap of the entryway locks sounds like the jolt activity rifle. I adore the way that I get consistent gazes, both in stunningness and rebuke. I would claim this G63 instant, yellow paint, fuel swallowing V8, cramped inside what not. It's totally and completely imperfect, however I couldn't care less. It's about the appeal and the inclination you get from in the driver's seat. It's additionally about not minding what individuals do or think. At last, it doesn't make a difference. This SUV baffles in vital, as well. It epitomizes purchasing something basically to state you have it. It's a vehicle that has a twin turbo V8, yet can't exploit it. It's a vehicle that has strong axles and three differential locks, and they will never be utilized in light of the fact that the auto is excessively costly and conspicuous, making it impossible to take rougher aim, and they aren't intended to be utilized on dry asphalt. There's likewise the way that you can get everything that Mercedes offers in better vehicles. A Jeep Wrangler Rubicon will presumably go wherever this G63 could, and it's sufficiently modest, moderately, that you won't fear taking it rough terrain. Furthermore, it handles better, rides better, has a more agreeable inside, and you can take the rooftop and entryways off. On the off chance that you need a quick SUV, you can get an alternate AMG SUV, or a Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, or a Porsche Cayenne Turbo S, or one of numerous others. 
or then again on the off chance that you simply need a truck like Extravagance SUV, there's an Escalador Navigator. Also, in the event that you need off-road ability and power, may I propose a Hemi changed over Wrangler from F. I essentially can understand the active G-Wagon.